Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 8. Uh, oh, we're rhyming now. It's the 16th of June 2019. I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are my players. Hey, I'm Callum. I play a human sorcerer called Eric Greenwood. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya, who is a half-elf druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I play Crumbar, who is a half-orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lakill, a tabaxi row. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half-elf monk. And welcome. Um, <laughs> I like, just, just you, Stu. Just you. <laughs> welcome. Screw those other guys. Um, right, so, we're in session 8 already. That's pretty good going for us. Uh, for everyone paying attention to our upload schedule, aka no one. Uh, yeah, we're playing on a Sunday. How bizarre. And... Who... Do we do recap first? Recap first makes more sense, and then goal, I think. So we may as well do the recap just now. Um, also, at this stage as well, who wants to be the person taking the notes? Because whoever's going to take notes be the only person in the session notes. Everybody else leave that document. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh, We're going to have one person in charge of that at a time. So whoever wants Sophie, to be the note taker. Sophie can take notes. Uh, any protests from Sophie? Uh, no. Okay. She can't multitask. I, mean, I can do it if people don't want to. She, she oh, I'll do it, it's fine. Okay. As I said, you can rotate it as it goes, don't worry. Um, but yeah, like if you just want to switch it at the break or whatever, fair enough. I have no issue with that either. I just want one person in the notes at a time. Um, mm -hmm. Which I think will at least reduce yeah. Absolute nonsense. Um, not total nonsense, but some of it, you know. Uh, besides that, yeah, let's do the recap first. What do people remember from the last session? We got attacked. We killed some pirates. We tried to capture one, and then that guy got stolen. Well, he, they killed yeah, us. Yeah, we, we, we got uh, we got a kill. Somebody came along and stole our kill. We're not playing COD. This is not cool. <laughs> Remember, I was in a fight and I didn't die. So Indeed. Cool. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> Did quite well. Uh huh. <laughs> new new territory for RP life. <laughs> right, you. Well, and some of us kept butt. Not me, but some of us kept butt. You you kept them going. That's important. You did keep them going. Um, I also had a read over your circle of the shepherd today. Actually, um, that is so good. It is so good. The unicorn spirit is clearly my favourite. Dear gods, it's good. And that's all I for know. <laughs> the the thing is, right, I, I know for a fact I'm going to have to properly like essentially learn all of that inside out to be able to play this character my best. And I do promise I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna have to print those bits first so I'm for photocopy or something because I need to have them physically at mm -hmm. hand and when I was in UKG I did look for a copy and um, I couldn't find one at um, buy and sell and then I couldn't find where they were selling the sort of things in the actual stalls because there were hundreds of them mm -hmm. and I was working the event so I basically could just nip to one place or another That's fine. and you promise I'm going to get the book I'm going to essentially learn the thing inside out and then I'm going to properly like start using all of that stuff in my kit. But I think we, we could just presume that, you know, she's just she's just discovering these things about mm -hmm. herself and what she can do. So that's why I'm going to be really shit and not use them for the next few sessions. I'm sorry. Well, the, um, hopefully just this session. The important thing I would look at, maybe just do it whenever you get a chance throughout this session, is load up Circle of the Shepherd and just read the first thing you get at level 2. You'll see exactly why I'm pointing in that direction. I don't even mean the summoning spirit stuff. Just the extra bonus things that you get. Um, just at level 2. I would go do that when you get a chance. Um, just by using the compendium in here. It's um, pretty much one thing that you get. And sure. it'll be a bit worth, mm -hmm. to, worth reading. Um, besides that though, everybody else, uh, anything else you just remember? Um, uh, the mad ghosty ship. Yeah, the fight's probably not over. over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we 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 still got a long. We ain't out of the woods yet, basically. 
Um, and as, yeah. um, oh, that that's that sailor person got stabbed in the face. Oh yeah, the first mate. Yeah, they she they, did. they 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 done did a dead. They did. Mm. The yeah. captain's still at large. Is like somewhere maybe could be dead. It's good to have someone to drive the ship, oh, captain ship. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I think drive if it has an engine. Yeah. It was actually correct. I remember getting asked this before. Um, magic engine. Luckily. This can be magic, right? Mm -hmm. And luckily, you don't really need magic engines in this one, or boats, because the seas are magical. You just have to get into the right current, as it the were. The sea is the engine. Basically. Uh, that would just uh, take us round and round yes, and round, wouldn't it? I am talking about Depends if it just like kind of funnels the water past a specific harbour and then that's it, you know? So I mean, really they're not sailing, they're just steering the ship. I mean, that really gets into the semantics or... <laughs> anyway, anyway, moving on. Uh, goals, then. Let's discuss so, yeah, goals. The ship and the the thingy. So... How are we with the current goals? Are we happy with them? Are we not happy with them? Uh, I'll, I'm still happy with the current goals. Yeah, like... You can have a short term of, like, trying to figure out what who this guy is, but... Is that going to be a thing? Um, I, I still think we should just try and reach the Citadel. Um, hope, if we can take this guy, I'd still like to, but I have a feeling... We're we are all going to be very angry and just want to smash him in the face mouth. At the moment, I think just surviving this guy would be good if we get an mm. brilliant. But uh, I don't know about you, but I'm more than half dead. Huh? Uh, I think we're all more. In yeah. fact, no, I've got I've got healing spells. Screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um... Teamwork, heals. Oh, I'm completely out of magic as well. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I'm completely like, I have like nothing to hit this guy in peace day of the rain. Do you not have. A... Yeah, <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um... <clears throat> sure. So... Aria, send in your bird person! <laughs> bird person looks very confused. Why am I even here in this franchise? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't named it yet, it's not attached. <laughs> it's not attached yet. As soon as you name it, staples what? into the arm. Yup. How else do I keep it swings on? And have you thought about any hawk names yet? I think what he was getting at, are you? Yes, I have, and I have one. Okay, well, Scott? Uh, Scott re gonna... you can reveal it in game if you want, like no. an, an RP. No, yep. I'm gonna reveal it in game, but yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I have name. a name. Cool. So I think I'll leave the main goal. It, it is something that can be held, so that's fine. So I do have a name. So I'm going to leave the main goal as reach the Golden Citadel, then. With the long-term goal still being find out what is happening at the Abyss. Sound good? Or do people have any updated suggestions? Survive the next ten minutes. Survive the next session. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are all very... Uh, Meta goals, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> cool, well that sounds good to me. Moving on. Good, we've concluded the goal section of the game. Good, we will check in at the end. Uh, yeah, so let's move us back to where we were. Ah yes, getting our face at smash. How could we forget? Kitty at the back with full HP. What is that nonsense? That's called a rogue. That's what that's called. <laughs> it's called being good at the game, scrub. Ooh. It's called being lucky. I'm hiding behind the mast here. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone so angry? Where did these daggers I come from? See this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although, this is in theory, fighting this let's guy. See. He's going to run about. No, you him. can. You can just see him. I and uh, no more. Yeah, we corner. Yeah, but you can just see it no more. Um, also, I did work. Let's see where I put all this work though. Uh, where is he? Boop. Get rid of this. 
Bip. Pops that in. Bip. Who's that? It's Arnold. Yeah. Oh, right. You give him yeah, a haircut. thing. No. Oh. You've changed. He's updated. This is, this is like when they change the actors. Half it's the exactly. The, we have changed the actor. Um, people look at us. something different about you. But yeah, so this is what Arnold looks like. This was your drinking buddy down down below deck, and another member of the the Golden Order. So it's not high up in the Golden Order. He's only got bits of gold in his armor. Clearly, just some initiate. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I think Ugh. we we open back on the the body of the what do you call him bandit captain yeah, bandit captain person mm. pirate that guy the guy that many names falls over <laughs> and a dagger's stuck into him and then the daggers like whip back towards say uh, this guy on the boat's hands. And then as they kind of like go back in there, he then just kind of like dismisses them as they shimmer away, the same way that people have shimmered away. This guy's like some kind of mirage person. Hmm. Uh, use of the equivalent of like an action, and I don't mean each, I mean as a group. So, what do you Does want to do? Does the boat go backward? <laughs> Not deliberately. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just not be here? Is that an action? <laughs> I mean, you don't know how long this boat's been with you for. Is, sorry, is there anyone else actually on that boat, or is it just him? You can only see him. It could be shimmered. It could be more people on our boat. We ain't got a clue. It could be people downstairs. Like, him. can we? Can we roll on? Okay. He looks really creepy. It looks point. like the type of guy that would just stand and breathe at you. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys, uh, yeah. Can we roll insight to see if we can find anyone? See anyone it's, else. It's um, he's got one action between all of you. What do you want to do? Oh, it can right. be shouting something at him. It can be trying to engage in conversation. It can be leading an attack. In which case, I'll then be getting everybody to roll initiative. Like, what do you want to do? You get the equivalent of one thing. Something like halt or something. I think just to. Oh, what are you up to? Basically, it's like, like but keep in mind, as yep. a as a player group, right? This is your point to discuss it now. What is your tactic here? Because you've keep in mind, you've got the captain downstairs somewhere. You've got Eremos downstairs somewhere. You've got Irina dead up here. So if the captain sees that, he's probably going to freak out. Um, you've got a bunch of dead bodies on board, full of golden bolts. Um, you've got. Kitty the flawless, um, and uh, <laughs> you know. Kitty the flawless. Can I do a move as well? Again, it depends what the the group decides. So, what 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 is your plans? You all have that second or two to glance at each other as the pirate captain Bendito men falls to the ground, and what do you do? So we're pausing the world, as it were, and we're talking about the how you as a group want to progress. So let so me just let, no, let me just. No, there is no crumbar at this point. There is Scott. So. Oh, right, okay. And before that, Callum. What's the plan as the closest person to them? What's. Well, what's, I have what, no sort of ability to hit this guy if, he, if we're going to fight him. He seems to have range abilities. I have nothing left. If could, I was going to. You could jump over. Help. I could. Yeah. What, and try to hit him with armor. my. No, I don't. My hammer's downstairs with my crossbow. Also, keep in mind, you're you're missing uh, something super, super important that, that you get at level 2, I believe. Uh, Maybe level 1. What? I'm missing something? Yeah, you really are. On your caricature sheet. Yeah. I... Uh... Tell me he has, like, mana drain or something. No, no, you screwed for that. You, you screwed I'm for that. completely screwed with that here. What am I missing? So, let me just post it for everybody. Oh! I, I mean, I haven't got any spells that I can count. Well, you do. I've got my cantrips as well. Exactly. So, you could 
fly there and because that was immediately before your spell you could then be in melee range he doesn't get to stab at you as you jump at him and then you whatever you're catching grasp. yeah so oh, that that's a point. Point. level spell nope I have no spell uh, spell slots at the moment so it will be down to cantrips it would be either that Ooh, wrong one four uh, first level <laughs> Uh, no, no, Stu's right. Stu is right. Okay, but lost Arya, she's back. Good. But yeah, so first level or higher it needs to be. But yeah, Stu's right. It needs to be that. Makes sense. But let's see what the other thing I was looking at on your character sheet. Where are we here? So your strength score is. A, no, no score uh, is nine. So you can jump, I believe it's nine feet. So you could easily That's clear that distance yeah. And then what, do and that. Then... Yeah, you could jump. I like I'm this guy like he seems to be like a big boss guy. He seems pretty scary. Again, that's that's the reason why I want you to have this remote this moment of tactic, because obviously you've went through quite a tough fight. It's not, obviously it, it's not over yet, based on your diplomacy skills. And it's just a what's everyone's take on what their character would do? Because obviously you can discuss what as a group is the best option. Let's talk our way out of this problem, or let's you know just murder the guy or jump him. But then, as you've stated, you don't know how many more people are on board. You don't know what they can do. You don't know what this guy can do. Um, is it worth jumping him and hoping for the best? Is he showboating? No pun intended. Like, mm -hmm. is he hoping that he can get away with it? Like, why wouldn't he just stay hidden, right? Um, but it's what your character would do is what I care about. So keep in mind, you all have personalities. So I'd like. Well, yeah. again, we're we're working in order here, Scott. So oh, is that so Callum, doing what doing what is your what is your take on this? What would Eric do? Well, this Eric is is like shattered at this point. I'd imagine after using all his spells, I I imagine that seeking some sort of like is quite exalted. Considering there's like nothing left magic wise, and he's not he's not like familiar with his powers, mm -hmm. so I'm not a, like again. He knows he's like he can't cast anymore because nothing's happening. This is probably the freest you've been though as a character as well in terms of your uh, powers, right? Yeah. So it's been good for that. Also, I'm sorry if you're reading stuff. You're just now um, I'm in your character sheet. Uh, are you? I'm in there, um, and it was a uh, this one. Is what I was talking about earlier. But yeah, cool. Uh, right, so I like I, I don't think we should engage in combat. I'm pretty sure my character would be the exact same, being complete. Like looking at the group, most of us are really injured, apart from the lazy cat in the back. Excuse me, sir. I took out three people. <laughs> same. So yeah, but. So Eric's response is just to like what, like hunker down against the wall of the boat. Yeah, like just like kind of take cover a little bit. Okay, yeah. I are you? What about you? Instinctively, what's your plan? You've just watched Bendy Toe Man die. Um, I actually knew that thing that you pointed out to yeah. me, and I was going to do like, when it was my turn. I was going to do that to get the the bird to. Um, I just meant it for a future use for you and the bird, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but like it's a, it's an ability, right? It's not something that um that that I need like a spell or something for. I can just ask the bird to mm -hmm. have a look, essentially, right? Yeah, but where is your bird right now? You know. Uh, I would expect it's around because I've managed to tame it, so. I just it's feel like we like... we spoke about this last time as well, where we'd asked, "Is your bird going to be here or not?" And you were like, "No, it wouldn't be nearby." Hmm? So I don't think your bird's uh, within hearing distance as of yet, considering oh, that you okay. probably sent it away, you know, temporarily while this mess is going on. Otherwise, it would have been a viable target. Sure. Oh, so. okay. Even if it'd been, for example, on the mast or something. Yeah, I mean, let's say it, it can be way up. Let's say it's at the the hawk's nest, as it were, right? It can be way up at the top of the mast if need be. Mhm. Mm but it wouldn't be hearing us. Ah, oh, fair enough. 
so I couldn't be using. I mean, it no, if you if you want it in this fight, that's fine. I'll. Yeah, basically that was gonna be what I did. Um. When uh when it was my turn, essentially, Again, I just, would yep, ask you... it to like go and have a look, sort of say like, but I wouldn't engage in. Like, I wouldn't be the one attacking or anything. Well, drag your bird onto the map, then. Because... Hmm? Drag it onto the map. By the way, oh. GM, when you say this fight, is that a hint? As in this, what you just went through? Because keep in mind, she brought up her bird last like, session. The past fight, right, okay, right. Or the possibly still continuing fight. I mean, technically, this fight hasn't time-wise ended. Right, which is... Am I being blind here? Where's the bird? It's in your character's pile. Probably down in the bottom. Yep, so see where you look at your character sheet. Oh, okay. Sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be able to see the hawk. No? Yes? Ah! Yep, good. I didn't think of doing that. Okay, before. Yeah, there I, I have no idea that was a thing. My bad. Okay. That's okay. So drag that onto the map for me. And move it up to one of the masts. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm trying to do, yeah. So is that well represented, or shall I put it like, like, like that? <coughs> Would uh, that be okay? I don't see it on any of the masts. I think these mean like those, those there. Yeah. So like there, or there. Yeah. So what's this thing yeah. then? What's what thing? I think because from where she's. Oh, the oh, okay. shadow. That's the shadow of the, the mast. Right? Right. Yeah. Right. That's just a bit of ground you can oh, see because oh, the mast oh, is in Oh, oh, okay. Okay, my bad. Yeah. It's okay. So you want to either put, um, put it over one of them, yeah. I guess? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It can be set up there. Okay, yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Then. Go like cool. anywhere. Oh, I can't do that. There, there, and there as well because the mast would have. Beams for sales. Mm -hmm. yeah, it would. Yeah. Cool. So that's on there. So we'll wait and see what. So Arya kind of pauses, and we'll wait and see what she does in a second. Crumbar and Scott. <laughs> mm -hmm. So instinctively, are you just gripping your hammer tighter? Well, Actually, this could be quite funny. Crumbar, what does Scott think? <laughs> Scott thinks what? <laughs> I, w I was Savage. not designed for such a function. Um, <laughs> I, I think Crumbar would just look at the the body that is now flopped before him mm -hmm. and angrily turn his gaze towards this shimmery face guy. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, then storm over there and scream over to him. Uh, demanding to know who he is. Alright, okay. Uh, Kitty, your plan? Um, sort of Let everyone. hide behind him. Yeah, just wait for a bot to see what everyone else does. Cool. And reach. I wouldn't mind moving a wee bit just so I can see him, but other than that... Uh, As I say, you can definitely see him from where you are. You're doing that kind of casual leaning against a, a mast thing, like where you've got that yeah. kind of tactically between you and the guy throwing knives. So... I was thinking I'm angling myself so he can't actually hit me with anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, partial cover at least. Uh, I think we should talk in a. Uh, uh, hi, what? <laughs> on earth are you up to here? <laughs> Tell you what, everybody, click your tokens, roll initiative, we see who gets to make the first move. Because everybody wants to do something different. Probably this. How do you roll? Character oh, sheet well, open, never click never on your. Best rule of my life, initiative. Yep. <laughs> can never oh. remember where initiative is. Top middle. Top middle. Oh yeah, the, that thing. Oh. Oh, God, I thought that twenty-two was mine. Something critted. <laughs> exactly when we don't need it, you know, and <laughs> we don't really need these sort of things. That's going to happen. Do you want me to roll initiative again? I forget to flip my token. Of course, yeah. 
Ja, Simbel. Huh. Oh, seriously? Well, I rolled the worst if it makes you feel better. And it probably does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he has probably got more decks than our sorcerer, I would think. Yup, yup. Um, so, uh, who has the higher dex mod and or score between the sorcerer and the druid? Ooh. As in, what, 14 for me? Are you? Maybe. I don't know which one you want. My dex is 14 and it has 2 in the box there. Yeah, so you both get 14. Yep. Oof. Who would you do that? Roll again? I don't know. Who would you like to go first? Because you can both decide. I mean, do you have a plan, Harry? I was gonna send the bird to, to see what's going on. That was my thing. Like, right, well, let's, no. let's start with you then, because you have an idea, right? So, you go first this time, right? You've got the 22. Uh, roll animal handling then. We'll see if it listens to you. Yep. Is that going to be like when your Pokemon's too high level and it stops paying yeah. attention? Because again, it is just that she's tamed a bird to get near her. I mean, there's no problem with this bird listening to her right now, given that. And as, oh, what, as, score like that? And as you've seen, like, you've... <laughs> anything to do with this hawk, you're yeah. going to roll so good. <laughs> Rui, yeah, go explore for us. Tell us what you see. Yeah, so... We actually end up in a fight and we all roll under 10, so I'll be very disappointed, by the way. <laughs> You're using up all the 20s! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... That happens. Uh, yeah, so the bird... flies off. Do you want to type exactly what you say to it? Just that way we can refer back to how it interprets your results because it doesn't have greater than bird intelligence. Please just type in caw, caw, caw. Well, she speaks what? in like Sylvan to it, so. Who do we keep losing? That was Scott. Uh, was Scott, yeah. That's a good name, yeah. You that. I was That's way somewhere. too broad in that, wasn't I? Yeah. Oh, we fell on I See what you said, just moved a few letters about. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, no! This name actually <laughs> means something. <laughs> okay. It means something. It's in a language. Not a language I speak, but yeah. Yep, so it flies off. Uh, do you move anywhere? Like, I would have like pointed that way, so I'm gonna move it. One sec. Turkish power, actually. Basically, there. Huh? Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. It's okay. Right, so, bird flies off. You want to say the name for me so I get the pronunciation terrible every time? Ruya. Ruya. There we go. Oh, yeah. Vision in Arabic. Nice. Good name. Ooh. What does it mean? Sorry, did you just... Vision. Vision, right. I just googled it and was dreaming a uh, Turkish, <laughs> but yeah, that's right. I mean, cool. both good, right? Yeah. A vision that's and a dream. Good. That's what I was thinking, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Have you added uh, Ruya to the NPC list? <laughs> I need to figure out how, but yeah, I will. It's okay, it's in the dock, it's in the hub somewhere. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go on to that. Okay, cool. cool. Are you moving anywhere though? That was my, my question, sorry, I don't know if you actually answered it or not. Are you personal? Me? No. No. Okay. I'll stay put. Oh, good, okay. Because I will be able to see things from yes. where I am. Um, Eric, what's your plan? Hmm. So she's just spoke something you don't understand, and then you hear a hawk call. And then it flew off. I kind of want to go make a dash roll crossbow. I mean, yeah, you could run by her and run down deck, yeah. 
Yeah, that cool? I mean, I don't know if it's cool, but it's it's wow, possible. I'm away from a potential fight. <laughs> it's not very cool. Yeah, I mean, it's very. I mean, what else do we do? I'm armed with a dagger. <laughs> right. So fifteen to Bad there, and then bam. So you've moved down. So let's see, 15, 20, 25, 30, grab crossbow, and then you could dash as your action to just move back up if you wanted. Yeah. We'll maybe that. check on the boy where you're done there. He looked fine. Yeah. <laughs> the brief glimpse I saw, he looked fine. I think, yeah, as you run downstairs, he's probably like, what's even happening? Like really, kind of exacerbatedly, like is there? I'm more just wa I'm I'm more just wondering if he was still there, because you know. Well, if these, let's find out. So, summer. Eric, what do you respond, or do you even respond? You just run down, grab crossbow. He I'm like staple. <laughs> you just see, like maybe you don't even see. Maybe the audience, as the camera lingers as you bolt back upstairs, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. Um, the <laughs> the face just goes, ha, huh, and like you know, all like frowns and petted lip, etc. Um, right, so you're, I think you're, you've got 15 movement left. Um, so you, I mean, you could go right back to exactly where you were. Yeah, sure. Right, so you've literally went <laughs> <laughs> with a crossbow, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's you. Reach. I'm hoping he's remembered his bolts as well. But anyway, yeah, that's I'm cool. assuming. <laughs> <I've got> <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, I do want to move, and I want to move up, so I'm just going round the mast, and I think I can go there. Is there anything under there? No, there isn't. Really ah, you're good. Go. You're, no. You can go there. Yep. Yeah. I do want to talk to the person. So yeah. Hello. Uh, hello, stranger. What's the meaning of this? And like just the biggest like shit eating grin appears on his face. As like he kind of engage. I think you're speaking common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry? I think you're speaking common, yeah. Yeah, yeah, aye. Yeah. Point, yeah. As I said, big shit eating grin, he smiles, and then he just shouts back something in a a language that just sounds like fire crackling. Is it draconic? No. No. Do you speak Draconic? I do. Then no. Right, okay. <laughs> is, it, is it like <laughs> primordial? No, no. It's not specifically designed to be something he doesn't understand. I just know that if user wanting to know what language it is, you just need to tell me what language user listening, so I can say it's yes or no, instead of me saying the language it is, and use metagaming. From what, you, from what you've said, is it Infernal? Do you speak Infernal? Yeah. I do. Do you? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Crumbar, you speak Infernal? Yep. And so does Eric? Yep. Yep. Imagine I then just said it wasn't Infernal. Imagine. Uh, yeah, it is. You could, you can make out what you're saying. Obviously, whether or not you notice that Reach doesn't understand it is a different thing. Um, but you both hear him just saying, Wonderful morning for it, eh? I'm <laughs> still talking, so I will say it would be polite to speak common. And then, um, like the grin, he, like he doesn't respond to that. Um, do does uh, Eric and Crumbar make any kind of like motion that you understand them? Or can you just give me a? Um, I know we talked about it when we were going through the languages. Can you just give me the backstory on where where Inferno comes from again? Like demons and devils. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, um, no. I can speak primordial. My bad. I thought Inferno referred to like no. the fiery one. Ignan. Yeah, I, I didn't understand it. Ignan yeah, thought... is fire. That's, what... um, That's like fire so elementals, like... etc. Also, you. Crumbar, we just... You. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, I end my turn anyway, so Crumbar. No, I thought. Sorry, I thought you. I thought you. I thought you ended your turn. I'll uh, do it. I ask yeah, him cool. to speak common. So, in Inferno, you're going to reply to him. Yep. What do you say? Can I get Crumbar to? He's just stared at him, very shocked at hearing this language, and uh, runs over to the edge of the boat and kind of just like grasps on the wall. Mm -hmm. 
staring at him dead in the eye and replies back. Um, just the one eye. Yeah, just just the one eye. Why not? All, um, all focused. You know, and just shouts back at him. And it's like you speak the you speak the language of demons. Explain. Who, uh, where did you learn it? And then you can like. So are you shouting that back in common or infernal or what? Infernal. Infernal. And then uh, he kind of like he turns to you, and like his eyes just like catch fire. Mm -hmm. And then he says in infernal to you, since you're the only one that actually can understand him. Mm -hmm. right. A barbarian with good ears. Well, Crumbar has been staring at him. Um, well, I've been staring at him. Yep. All oh, right, so I can do it in third person. First, first. First person. Scott is still. <laughs> <high. laughs> um, I mean, you're on brand, so. Uh, exactly, exactly. Um, so while I'm staring at him intensely, I have uh, my divine sense has been kind of triggering um, to uh, see if I can pick up any kind of demonic presence off of him. Hmm. Or anything like that. Hmm. Uh, well, I need to roll for that, I think. Don't know. Let's see. Be As an action, you can open your awareness to detect. So, if you're going to do that, I would just put it, click it to put it in chat, and then that'll be you using it. Uh, it's the speech oh. bubble. There we go. So that's your action. Because it is, like, there's right. an economy to it. Uh, you can use a feature number thing. So yeah, what's the limitations on it here? Until the end of the next turn, uh, another location is Celestial Fiend and Dead within 60 feet, blah 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 blah. Wow. Alright, so what is your Charisma modifier? My Charisma modifier, I believe, is plus two. That's just the big number, isn't it? Yep. Yep, so the, yeah. sco the score is the, the higher number, as it were, and yeah. the mod is the bigger, larger number. <laughs> yeah, aye. Yeah, because that would make sense, because mm -hmm. my intelligence is negative one. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, it's plus two. So, overall, you can use this three times uh, until you rest. That's cool. Cool, cool. It's a long rest. You need to recharge this. Uh, yeah, so you kind of, as you kind of stare at him, maybe we get that kind of slight glow to your eyes as well. Not, not much, but like a kind of like gol a golden shimmer uh, coming from him. And yeah, he is most definitely a fiend. And that kind of stare. <laughs> and <laughs> that, that fiend is exactly 10 feet away. Okay, um, so I've used my action, haven't I? Yes. Right. Um, you've still got like move left. What is it? You've still got like 30? 30? 20? Aye. Still got 20 move left. Yeah, see, my next my next action would be to uh, try and find some kind of a plank to get across. You can jump? Oh, can I, can, I, can I jump that far? What's your strength score? Uh, my strength is like 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah, you can make that jump. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I didn't know jump would be classes. Yep. So, on basically finding that this guy's infernal, I have, you know, my eyes have just turned to red. I see it only as an enemy that needs destroyed. Um, I hop up onto the banister and with a big mighty grunt. So this has to be, up. like, part of your, your move. So... Yeah. When you do a jump, right, let me just paste uh, this in uh, the text, right, here we go. There's the rules there. Uh, long jump, when you make a jump you cover a number of feet uh, up to your strength score. If you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump, when you make a standing long jump you can move when I have to. But I think even with half of that, 8 feet still yeah, gets even, you over, yeah. right? Because uh, it's only... Essentially, you need, yeah, you, need clear, you need to clear. You need over. You need to clear like. You need to be able to jump five feet, to then say grab yeah. onto the side or clear five feet to land, if that makes sense. 
I'd be able to. There is the next part of the rule, and then five. yeah, like there should be no issue uh, with you yeah. making it, and then whoop. Yeah, I can make that no problem then. Yep, it's a good thing about having good strength. That's the full long jump rules in the chat. No there. worries. Um, so just I'll read over them as we go on. Um, so, like I was saying, Crumbar hops up, walks up onto the banister, gives a mighty grunt, and goes and "Wee!" and lands smack down, superhero landing right beside him, hammer in hand, ready to just lay the smack down on him. Okay. Yeah. Kitty. Hello. That's assuming Crumbar has no bonus actions he wishes to take. Ah, uh, no, I, I, I don't get the bonus action. Um, I'm just gonna stay, move, uh, well, there, just I'm um, in more range for my long range, long range, long range <laughs> weapon. <laughs> uh, and I'm just gonna sort of end my turn there because I don't know if he's gonna attack, what is, you know, what's gonna right. happen. So, so at this point, right, so. You've not done anything that's constitution action, right? So you've only moved a tiny bit as well. You've moved like five feet. Mm -hmm. You could now prepare an action, okay, in which you describe oh. a trigger scenario for the action to happen. So, for example, I will shoot my crossbow at, you know, the dude. Bad guy. Yeah, at bad guy. Um, F crumbar attacks, for example. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll do that then. Or a better one, because crumbars went and that trigger can't really happen before your next turn. Um, it might be best to say, if bad guy attacks, I will shoot my weapon. Make sense? Yeah. Yes? No, maybe? Cool. So I was just reading, what, what about Arnold? Yeah, that's hey, okay. Arnold. I've got that, don't worry. Yeah, I thought that was what you were on about. I was like, wait, what? Nope. So, uh, so for example, you could do that. The thing about preparing an action as well is it needs to be a specific trigger, so it can't just be... When something happens, I'll decide then, because it's not delaying your full turn, it's delaying one yeah, specific yeah. prepared action. So, for example, if that guy doesn't attack by the time the round resets, you lose your held action. Ah. Uh, so, which is why you need to be quite specific with them. Yeah. But, it is something you could do, because, I mean, you don't, at this point, you're not losing anything, because you're not doing anything with your action anyway. Mm. So, it's up to you if you want to hold it. Well, the rest of us are not attacking them, so it's not a bad idea. Yeah, the trigger is pretty. Like that's why I used that example because it was seemed to make the most sense. You don't lose mm. anything really. I'll do that. Uh, so shall I type it in? Trigger action. Yeah, just say hold, or even H A for hold action. That's not a, a bad way to shorthand it. You could what, do H D. No, like you could do that, like what? H E, and then type oh, in H what you're in. Oh, hold actually, yeah. Because has a good way of a, uh, you know. Ha. Not that it's the Kalista's mm. laughter or anything, but yeah. <laughs> and then just type in uh -huh. the this the trigger. So, um, roll shoot crossbow or crossbow bad guy if he attack. You know, it can be as long as we get the gist of it. I want to talk about it like with as much detail, but obviously type it with whatever. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then pip yourself with something that says there's a held action. There we go. That'll do. See that stop sign okay. thingy? That'll do. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right. Uh, this guy. Yeah, so. Where are we? Let's see. I've got so many new things on this page. There we go. Yep. So he grins, obviously, he's got the fiery eyes as he's staring at Crumbar who lands like an Iron Man style right next to him. Uh, mm. And yeah, raises his hand and then like three daggers appear, like kind of splayed between his, his fist, you know, almost like a, somebody that would juggle a coin. And then he just smirks at a Crumbar. <laughs> And then fires the three daggers to the other ship, as in to you guys. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, he is attacking. So, your trigger will happen. 
Sophie? Yeah. Uh, right. uh, so make your, make your attack, yep. Cool. Cool. Also, I don't know why I've been saying crossbow for you. Well, I thought you had a hand crossbow because that's your short bow. I have, I have got the hand crossbow, but yeah. Right, so switch items. Because it should so be. Th th hand crossbow. It's much better. Eh, eh, mm. eh, he, he. Cool. Eh. Do this just now. Yeah. Oh, I actually not did technically damage. It's okay. It's still enough. It's still, it's still damage. Yep, so your bolt flies out, smacks into the guy, um, hits him on the shoulder just as the th these three daggers leave his hands. Um, right, uh, this first one is against Eric. That's a hit, I believe. Uh, then Reach. Oofed. And then. Oh, who else? Hurt, yeah. Then uh, Arya. Well, there we go. So, Eric. Take four. Really, really not wanting to do this, but yep, reach. Take seven. Oh no. <laughs> Arya, take six. So did he get the plus two because it's a crit then, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heal me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What, what are you on? Pip, oh my god. Pip yourself appropriately, please, reach. Yeah, I'll be nappy on that. Hip thyself. A whole fight without trying, I knew it would have been too good. But... <laughs> <laughs> we ain't dead yet. So I'm taking a force for your potion, right? So. Yeah, I've got one on me. <laughs> yeah, but to raid you and then use it wouldn't be uh, efficient. Yeah. They'd have to uh, be next to you, raid themselves and use it. Uh, so yeah, it kind of smirks uh, and then looks down at the bolt and kind of sneers. And then he says something in Infernal over to you, okay? Oh, <laughs> Crumbar, you keep casting that. Um, <laughs> the uh, Crumbar here is, and it's just, I uh, hear him like sneer and almost like swear the word paladins. Hmm. Right. I just look confused, like kind of worried because now his, his attention's on me, like, oh crap. Yep. Uh, the round is about to reset. Arnold runs through and past everybody, leaps and doesn't quite make it. And he's holding on to the <laughs> side of the boat. <laughs> and then he will climb up when he can. Let me just uh, add him to the initiative now. What uh, boat is he clasping on? Uh, that, the other one. The other one? Yeah. The one he jumped towards. Uh, have I clicked his token? I have... His oh. wife just got murdered, like, obviously he's pissed off. No, no, that's... he's a... he's a paladin. Oh, never mind, sorry, that's I thought you were talking about the captain. Five, by the way. Say that again, sorry? Is Arnold's strength only five? I mean, I'm not going to tell you what Arnold's stats are. Uh, okay, but... because <laughs> they should have been able to manage a jumpy ten feet at least, I'd have thought. Mm, you'd think. When he was running at it. You'd think. Okay. Mm. So, are you? So I was thinking of um of using see. my spirit totem thing. I have been healing everybody. Unless you want me to like rob you of your poison potions and administer them to you guys, then. I mean, that could be an option. I was thinking the um, the the spirit thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really understand. So, oh, it's a bonus action. Okay, cool. Never mind. I'm gonna do it. It's a bonus action. I can do other stuff and then do this. Um, we could do that and then no, other stuff. So let me just. True. So, can I just check? I'm basically doing this right now because people will be healing themselves. So if they cast oh, a spell is using a spell slot. Which spirit? That restores hit points. Is it the unicorn? Yeah, I'm, it's the unicorn one that I think actually would be helpful. Okay, so just post it into chat. Everybody can get a look at it. Yeah. 
There's like a little speech bubble next to it. There we go. Now, like, see if you, on your red text, there's a speech bubble next to it. You can literally click that and it will put paste it in for you. Oh, trust me to always take <laughs> the path of most positions. It's okay. It's just uh, easier. It's what we did for uh, the other abilities as well. So, do you have any spell slots left? No, nope. that would be like if I were to use anything right now for for healing, it would have to be a potion. Okay, so and that wouldn't honest, really do it anything sound for like you. a good thing to do. Yeah, no, not for me. But I was thinking if it's cast because it does take a minute. So what's that in turns? Is it like two turns or something? That's no, quite a lot. That's like ten. Oh, okay. Um. I was, however, thinking of using So the reason why that's not the, so good is because uh, nobody else has healing magic that uses spell slots. Oh, okay. I, that's what I was going to ask. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if any... But it's okay. This is good to learn this stuff as we go, obviously. What well, advantage you know abilities might be useful? Uh, to detect oh, creatures. Checks mid yeah. to detect creatures. Oh, yeah, okay, now we can see them. Hopefully he's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>, Laughs in GM. Has my bird come back to me? No, it's still looking. Cool. Okay. Um, it's I been six seconds since you last spoke though. to it. Yeah, I guess. Um, now, I'm definitely going to use one of the potions of healing on myself because this is ridiculous. So low and I'm not comfortable with having two health. You can pull potion, drink it yourself, or pull potion, force feed it to reach. Because you are close enough. Goodness, this, this is a hard choice. Mm. Um, yeah, I've just. I'll feed I it to the leech. Yeah. I'll feed it to the leech. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. just to point out, the only healing spell I have, I need to be able to touch him. So. Throw his corpse over. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're gonna have to toss me. <laughs> Says spirit reach. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So, do you want to do that then? Have you marked down? Uh, Did you use any trying. potions last time? No, I'm still at four. Cool. Mark yourself down to three. And then we'll let you roll what he heals, since it's you doing it to him. Uh, so, it's, I believe, 2d4 plus something, isn't it, guys? So 2d4 plus two, isn't it? It says on it. 2d4 plus 2, yeah. Like. Check me remembering stuff. <laughs> so, I can't impress myself. Type that what's in. It? Oh, oh, hash, oh, uh, what's it? Slash, four slash, slash yep. R and then space and then the math. 2d4 plus 2. Plus, plus two. 4, was it? 2. 2. Yep. 2d4 plus 2. 4 health is still 4 health. It is. It's a little bit more. Wow. Than. That's that's literally the least it could have been. <laughs> it's still health. And now he's not dead. No, which is kind of good. But still on your still ass, but yeah. Still die every fight roll at the moment, but you know. <laughs> I got you. I mean, you just re-rolled initiative, so if it makes you feel better, this is a different fight. <laughs> <laughs> so you have one fight that you've done well. <laughs> And that was probably the hardest fight so far, right? Yeah. So that's impressive. Uh, but yeah, so you kind of like cough and splutter the, the remnants of this healing potion up. Uh, uh, you've still got movement and stuff, are you? Are you doing anything with that? Hiding? <laughs> it's up to you. No, you, no, you, I'm, you I'm can move joking. to get a better position. Um, you could also like shout on the bird to come back if you wanted. Uh. I mean, I have to trust that it's gonna do what I wanted it to do, and then come back anyway. Yeah, like it, it seemed to like reasonably to take the order anyway, because I mean, your animal handling was pretty decent. And that's a meta way of looking at it. But the exchange that you got from its body language, I guess, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Like. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I was saying, like, reasonably, you assume it's gonna do what you wanted anyway. Like, you got a good enough role to work that out. Yeah. I also don't want to ask it to come back because then I might make it a target. Yeah. 
But instead, what I was thinking of doing is... So, essentially, that fight didn't finish. And I was... Oh, God, was I using my scimitar or my crossbow? I think I was using my scimitar last, so... I don't think I would still have it in my hand. Scimitar, because you were Can stabbing I... the uh, bandito pirate man. Yes. Can I uh, assume that I am pulling though. out my... All right, so, you were sorry, stabbing. stop, you everybody, it. stop. Continue what you're saying, are you? I say, can I assume that I'm just pulling out my short bow to essentially prepare? If you drop it? your scimitar, you can pick up your bow, yeah. Actually, 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 I have daggers as well. Mm -hmm. I can try to throw daggers at him as well. Yeah, you can pull a dagger out if you want. Yeah, because you remember, as part of a move, you can withdraw or stow a weapon. It's just if you're holding a weapon and you want to change to a yeah. different one, you need to ditch it for free sure. and pick it and get the new one out. But your bow is at your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think in that case, what I would actually do is I would just pick up my bow. So you're gonna ditch the scimitar That's on the ground, pick up your bow. Uh -huh. So just take this in chat. So That'll drop scimitar, me. pick up bow. I think we'll just start doing that to, so it, if we need to scroll back up, just hopefully Scott won't fill the chat full of unnecessary spell casting. <laughs> cool. Burn. I was totally going to type in glug. Yeah, I was sort of cool. So, uh, right, you've got that ready. And bonus action, you've not used any bonus action yet. Do you want to? Do you have anything you want to do with the bonus? Nope, good. End of turn. Eric. Yeah. With a dagger. Um, crossbow and a dagger now. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can true strike him. Yeah. He's, what, he's so close at all. Yeah. He can cast that as a dragon. Wrong one. Is that right one? Let me just this guy with something. Don't really know what we're going to use for true streak, but uh... like a target in reticle is that a thing? A dartboard. There we go. That way. Mm -hmm. It's part of the empire now. It's fine. Okay. Actually, there is a slightly better one, I guess, um, and it's actually like an archer's thing. Right. So you've done that as your action. Uh, what does that look like? Because that's you casting a spell as well. So it's just you, like it's somatic. So it's there's no like words or anything. It's just yeah. It's um, you, as it, as it says. I just extend my hand, kind of point at him, and like I don't know a kind of gleam happens like out out my eye. It looks like ping. I'm I'm watching him. Got lots of eye action in this one. Um, yes. You moving anywhere or? Um, if I got, if I went up, on. Say that again. You cut out. If I if I went up to about here, would I be? Uh, would I have like an advantage since I'm at, I'm like at higher level than he? Is? No, no advantage, but you would be higher than him. Slightly, yeah. Uh, you'd, be, you'd be further away. Yeah, no, I think I'll move up there. Just to the top of stairs. Cool, go for it. I love the... All the way downstairs. All the way back upstairs. Ow! Dagger. Okay, up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quick group of position. Constantly. Do it. Cool, cool. Uh, reach. Right. See my jump. I've only got ten strength. So if I was to jump from here, I'm not going to. I'm going to be grabbing hold, am I? Uh, right. So you'll need to use half your movement to stand up. Yeah. Right. That leaves you fifteen movement. Right. Yeah. And that's still enough to jump. Because you only need to clear. So what's your? Ten strength. So you can jump ten feet. Uh. uh Right, technically from standing is half that. No, but your score doesn't change. So, you've still got 15 feet of movement total, right? Yeah. And you can jump 10 of it. 
Okay, so, don't want to argue this because you're making it better for me. But what you posted earlier says if you're jumping from a stand and start, you're going to jump half your strength. Right, okay, so yeah, you would jump, make an acrobatics check, and we'll both see if you grab on. Okay, right, cool. There yep, you makes sense. Always do the rules. Yep. Uh, first of all, though, just post it and do that. Are you here? Grab this. And I throw a potion of healing at you. Cool, that would be an action to pull that out of your pack. Yeah, that's okay. I know I'm going to go over there and not do anything, but that's pretty much. Ah, hold on, you've got four at the moment. I'll, get I'm I'll fine, don't catch worry. you up later on. <laughs> uh, so, five. Fine, right. just throw me one. Don't worry about that. Moment. Yeah. Right. Roll acrobatics. Yeah, acrobatics. Yep. No, that's enough. Just. Just. Yeah, no, just. Right. Yeah. Cool. I that? do make the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, cool. Uh, well, technically, you're holding on, and next turn right. you'll just be there. But you're there for now. Right. Okay, right, cool. Do you guys dangle off the boat? Yep, yep. Oh, can I still attack? From where you are? Mm, yeah. Sure. Right. Just fly your legs up. Your, um, your quarterstaff is here. I left my core stuff behind, yeah. I mean, you didn't tell me you were picking it up before you jumped. Yeah. I mean, real wisdom. That Just tell wisdom save. Me as well, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom save, sorry, did you say? Yeah, wisdom save. No. Yeah. Cool, you can have picked up your staff. I do feel that would have been disadvantage on the acrobatics check right enough, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll play on. Uh, yeah, I'd use the core stuff to help me actually. As a jump, what do you call it? Like a pole vault thing? Pole vault. <laughs> oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you've got that, so one hand held onto the uh, boat, one hand on your staff, and you can poke him if you want. Yeah. And I'm just trying to figure out the attack that it is, right? Cool. Yeah, feel. That's fine. <laughs> that, uh, that's fine. I feel like that's appropriate given all the the jank that you're doing acrobatically between boats, yeah. but yeah. Not bad though, good attempt. Crumbar. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. hmm. So I'm just been looking through some things. Um, right. I don't know. Um, Talk us through what you're thinking. So, you know how I have um, Steward of Fate? Mm -hmm. And it says components is VSM. Mm -hmm. A small parchment with a bit of holy text written on it. Mm -hmm. I, do I have to have that in my inventory, I guess? So, for a paladin, let's go find out. Let's go find out right now. Because it might be slightly different for you. For like a wizard and a sorcerer, yeah, they need stuff like that. Yeah. Let's see. Paladin, Paladin, Paladin. Because some people get to cast stuff regardless of components. Mm. Yeah, if I knew about that, then I probably would have picked up. That's fine. Let me look at your spells. Paladins, quick build, divine sense, living hands, fighting style, spell casting. Let's see. Uh, yep, you'll need them, and you need a spellcasting focus as well um, for the ability to go over stuff like that. So let's talk about that right now. Mm. Uh, a focus of any kind, right? So you've got a component pouch, which I think Arya uses. Um, I think it's a yeah. component pouch. Um, no, no, you don't. I'm talking in general. Oh, right. Just you pause yourself for a second and just listen. So okay. we've got spellcasting. The VSM, so verbal, somatic, and material. 
If the material component does not have a listed cost, such as 10 golds worth of rubies, right? So long as it doesn't have anything like that, a spellcasting focus will cover the cost. For example, Eric, do you remember what your spellcasting focus is? Eric. Are we down in Eric? Maybe. Callum. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, welcome back. <laughs> I was just faffing about with my headphones, sorry, what was that? So, what's your spellcasting focus? Tell Crumbar. Spellcaster focus? Oh, my uh, my ring. Right. It's my, uh, like, arcane something. Yes, he's arcane, arcane focus. focus. So, that means that anything that he wants to cast that has a material component to it, but not a listed cost, he the ring will pay that for him. Right? So, right. as a paladin, you'd have some kind of holy relic or yeah, like symbol, etc. Yeah, like et holy symbol that I've got. So, but you would need to have that as a thing. So, do you have that in your inventory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, it. right. So, you would have that in your hand mm -hmm. to cast the spell, which means you'd need to like reach in, have it in your hand, mm -hmm. cast. And design right. that it can also be that. something mounted onto something. So, it could be mounted onto your armor, but then if you lose your armor, you lose your holy symbol. It could be built into the shields that you're currently not holding. I mean, it could be em embellished yeah. like a dragon symbol of some kind for your you know. Right, so, if, so, if, I so if I use the holy symbol then it kind of deteriorates. No, I don't mean that. I mean, for example, oh. let's say you have a shield with a giant dragon golden face on the front of it and that's your holy symbol so when you go to cast spells you brandish that to cast them. If You, you currently don't have your shield, so you couldn't do it. Make sense? Just like ah, right, if you yeah, lost yeah, your yeah. armor and your armor had right. the emblem on it. You know, right? So yeah, I get what you're if that talking makes about sense. That. Or it can be like a dragon pendant round your neck. Dot dot dot. Right. So, mm. are you right? Think of it um, like crucifixes but, and vampires, and ah, that whole right, debacle. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, that, Same that, type that, of idea. Happens. Or wizards with wands from Harry Potter. Do you know what I mean? Like it's that idea. Um. So, do you have any idea right now what Crumbar would have as a holy symbol? Um, and where it would be. Well, I'm assuming that there would be some kind of, um, you know, not like you were saying about crucifix. There'd be some kind of like symbol. That yeah, it's the face of the gold, the gold. great gold worm. Like it's a big giant yeah, dragon yeah, face. Yep. Yeah. So, like, um, a pendant of that kind of idea. Cool. Yep. Uh, you write all this um, down somewhere because this is what it is now. This is what the holy symbol is. So uh, you've got a pendant around your neck, holy symbol. It's the great gold worm's mm -hmm. face. That's your boy. Yeah. That is my boy, right? So, uh, Crumbar after witnessing. I uh, after witnessing. Oh yes, I after that. Okay. So I after witnessing uh, reaches um, steady get back up. Oh, in fact, no wait, no, I'm I'm doing this. In, oh, sorry, doing this in the wrong order. Also, oh, that's the it? symbol there, just so you know of the great gold one. Ah, oh, cheers. Uh, yeah, that's pretty badass. Yeah, uh, I'm doing this in the wrong order because that's that's my bonus action. No, um, there's there's no order. Like if you want to do a bonus first, you can. Oh, can I? Yeah. Oh right, even better then. This this works even better. So, uh, continuing on what I was just saying. Um, Let's start your uh, turn, right? So Crumbar, it's your right, turn. Start my turn. Crumbar has has uh, perked up into action. Mm -hmm. He after after noticing. Uh, reaches, you know, get up from being knocked down, mm -hmm. and as I've seen him flying across and is now grasping onto the side of the boat. Yeah, and he's also tried uh, to poke this guy with his stick as well. Yep. Uh, yes, um, very <laughs> frantically. Concerned for concern, bit bit of uh, concern has uh, washed over me on his uh, survivability. That's called the sea spray. Um. <laughs> um I touch touch my hand towards to my uh, pendant, mm -hmm. and it starts to glow with a nice glowy. Yeah, kind of nice golden glowy. Yep. A nice go nice golden glow, which uh, transfers into my fingers. So mm -hmm. it's, and then I throw that glow over 
towards Reap and it has embellished them in a nice wee shield of faith. Nice. Um, so I am right in saying oh. I use up a spell slot for that. You do indeed. Cast the spell, just click on it and we'll put, we'll put it in officially this time. Boop. Excellent. Pip yourself with a shield of some kind. Cool. Uh, Excellent. Thank you. And I just... Is it my slots? Yes, yeah, slots remaining will be one. If you add two, you're down to one. Correct. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, so that's at one. Um, now knowing that my my pally friend is safe, I I look. Right Arnold's there. there going, dude. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I need you to put a mind mappy one on you as well, Crumbar, because it's a concentration spell. Concentration. Oh yeah. Um, why am I? Oh, wrong. Um, so pip yourself with the the telepathic line one, the one with somebody touching their head and lines coming out of it. Uh, mm, to ten minutes. That one. There you go. Yep. And uh, yeah, I'm not even going to track ten minutes because if this fight lasts for a uh, sixty rounds, I'm going to cry. We're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm just trying to do. That's okay. Stuff. No, it's good. Like these are all like using more abilities because again, obviously, these are going to keep getting more and more abilities. So it's good to learn how to use them. And I don't mind taking yeah. the time as we go, especially early days. So don't worry about that uh, at all. So. Plus, I'm sure Stuart hand. really hates that you took time to cast a spell on him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I've thrown my hand out. The glow has passed from my hand and is now circ circling around Reet. My hand now comes back to meet my hammer, so both hands are on it. I pull it back and give a massive swing towards his face. And... Do -do. I completely miss. <laughs> yeah, you do. So I just end just because like... it's so heavy, like mm -hmm. you're already a bit tired. That must be what it is. Yeah, and it's because I aim for his face, and it's just like he's just kind of like the wind caught the swing face. very wrong. Yeah, <laughs> and then the crumbar is just in a wee pirouette around from the uh, momentum. And on that, I end my turn. Kitty. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna just fire my stuff at him again, yeah. basically. Uh, Carry on. Pew. Definitely hits. <laughs> pew. She's the only one hitting him. This is amazing. Yes, this is yes. this is how combat works in this game. If you yeah, it's Kitty wins. Everybody else slowly dies, and uh, if Kitty can kill them by the time uh, they're 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 not dead, yeah. Really, we need to get her like Where a level of cleric. Kitty's the one that's, uh, that's actually doing the killing here. That's... I mean, as in your name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, gonna, that. you gonna move or? Um, would hiding behind a pillar help me at all? Uh, well, keep in mind you've got your cunning action, right? Yeah. Oh, there's um... people around them. What I mean by cunning action is she can actually move over behind a pillar and then actually use the hide action. Is it not also something about attacking men? There's other people in there. Yeah. Attacking. There is. Right, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over. Oh, oh no, where's my arrow thing first? I'm gonna go what? to here. Mm -hmm. Or would it be better? To... No, no, like, do, 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 like behind. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, he is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um. <laughs> well, I can't even see now. Um, <laughs> that's half the, <laughs> half the problem. <laughs> And then, um, do you want to do the hide action? Is a uh, part of your? Do you want to put your cunning action into the chat? And then, do I just say hide? That's okay. No, roll stealth. We'll see if uh, oh, we'll see stealth. how well you hide. Oh. Yep. Excellent. Okay. And the juggalo's time. So <laughs> you've. Uh, <laughs> started with like a little crossbow bolt. He swears again in Infernal that obviously Crumbar here is. Um, it was just a crow of fucking paladins, is all he says. Um, again, <laughs> that kind of crackling, fiery voice. Um, and yeah, puts his hand up, and uh, all the daggers that are stuck in people pull out and fly back to his hands. Oof. And oh, then he. Uh, 
they all kind of like fly back, they kind of shimmer away. He looks uh, at Crumbar, who's obviously mid swing, like the other way, as he's working his way back round. <laughs> and then uh, he. Let's see. He's going to use one of his moves to disengage as a bonus action and just hop over. Wow. After all the hassle, almost Ouch. making it there. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, he's going to go here. And then he's going to go here. And then he's going to throw. One, two, three. All at K. So <coughs> I think only two of them. Oh, Ouch. Dead and one. Uh, it's only the five, so it's nine total damage. But I'm hidden. Uh, only if he doesn't uh, know. Not. Only if he can't beat your uh, stealth. Mm. So take from that that he got better than that. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Sorry. So that's nine damage to K. As two of the three daggers smack into you. One of them just hits the deck behind you. Hey. And then you, you just like hear him crackle some other uh, obscenities. Arnold gets up, says, fuck this guy. And then does his best to get back over. <laughs> Guys, just Pac Man in about. No, Mario in about. <laughs> Are you? I will try to shoot at the guy. Mm -hmm. A moment. Nope, for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Anything else? Run away. I would only be able to use a bonus action at this point, right? And your move. I wouldn't be able to use a... Ooh. Um... I don't know if moving might be a... Well... I mean, maybe this part's raised up as well if you wanted. I mean, you do have yeah, 30 feet. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I'm gonna go up here. So, yep, perfect. But you can't st stand on that. That would require a check to climb up onto. Oh, shoot, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. That's totally fine there. Yep, totally fine. I, I yep. totally didn't think Aha! That was, yeah. It's okay, perfect. Well, you can make a wee acrobatics check if you want to jump up onto that if you want anyway, but... Uh, it's entirely up to you. Well, if anything, I should be hiding behind it, but oh well. Can we bind it if you want? It's, like a hard, it's a much harder shot, regardless. Cool, is that you? You could drink, I mean, if now you've done your action, sorry, you can't drink a potion, but yeah. No, that's fine. Cool. Eric? I'm going to like aim my crossbow at him. Yep. With a uh, true strike guiding, I'm going to launch him. Did you click advantage? I haven't yet, but I'm going to. Yep. Toggle it. Toggle it good. I toggled it very good. For pot. That hits. Nineteen one off a crap. Okay. Where yeah. did you see that it's nineteen? It's John for me is yeah. 23. Right, hover over the 23 and you'll see the number in black is what you actually rolled. Uh. Yeah, so the, ah, the d20 right, okay, rolled an right, 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 right. So uh, yeah, true strike, bro, eh? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Katunk. Did I hit straight between the eyes? I hope it did. Yeah, uh. you did. Straight between I'm just going to put my crossword oh, on and go, all of the day's work. Please tell me this guy's beginning to look a wee bit, can he? Is it a wee bit of an ouchie? Or something. Uh, you gotta... I mean, he's got a red cross on his face. Yeah. All right. 
That guy was easy. I can't see you. Yeah. It's a must in a very good. It was easy, mate. Right? Oh, there it is. Four kills for me. Would have been five, but Kitty stole one. <laughs> we finished the fight here, then. Uh, yeah, you can climb back up if you want. So you cool, climb. Thank you. <laughs> climb Crowbar. up, jump over. Yep. I I give a big, big, tip it him over and go wee. Cool. <laughs> Boom. I call um, Ruya, come back, and I hold my arm up for her to land on it. You can stop concentrating as well now. Thank you though for that. Right, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I. Upon my upon my landing, um, my mind clears, and with it, so does your armor. Yeah, oh no, not that. Um, how did I get rid of it? <laughs> there we go. Forever, <laughs> forever. My mind clears and I die. <laughs> uh, yeah, that other boat shimmers away. Oh, okay. So it wasn't. Okay. I'm also just going to do that a, a slightly different way. Let me just. Uh, there we go. Shimmers away. <laughs> Um, can I, can I, I suppose me asking the bird what it saw is so, useless because it would have just been done. Bear with me. So that shimmers away and this body of the juggler mm -hmm. burns away and the fire spirals to all of yeah, the other that. bodies. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the bolts that are like pinned into places where the bodies would have been, they all shimmer away in gold light differently. Gold? Gold light, yep. Mm. Would we know what this means? Shrug. It was all a dream. <laughs> oh god, not again. <laughs> if it is, I'm, hi I'm, I'm murdering the child. Uh, roll history, <laughs> I guess, or arcana. Probably, probably arcana. Uh, uh, are, are, are you? This? Are you? Who's that? Yeah, no. Like, they're gone. Yeah, I don't know shit. It's fine. Well, well, none of us know what's going on. Mm, I mean, about what? She asked a specific question. About like the body shimmering away and the the light. Well, the the body the body's burnt away when the fire spiraled out to all of them, as if reclaiming them. Yeah. So, uh, but she asked would, about the light. Would any of us know that would what would what type of magic would cause that? Illusion. Hmm. Uh, what you call it? Summoner or something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, do you know? Do you think we'd know who, like, whereabouts you would yeah. learn such stuff? Why doesn't Crumbar give me an arcana check? Thank you. Nope. Oof. Yeah. But yeah, so Kitty, you look around, all the bolts that you would normally get half back on after a fight, they're all gone. No my bolts. Yep. God dang it. Yep, yep. Your shiny golden bolts be gone. Yep, they just like Almost like turn to like gold glitter in the wind. I'm gonna sulk. <laughs> if you want me, I'll be downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, wrong way, Kate. <laughs> uh. I mean, this also leads downstairs, but yeah, whatever. So we don't actually have a cat amongst us. We have a nip. <sighs> right. Oh. So yeah, the captain comes upstairs, um, screams a bit, and is now just crying oh, God. over his um. Oh. <laughs> they won't even know what happened. It might look like we killed him. Yeah. Right. And does anyone want to go over and explain what happened? <laughs> I think they might have heard the wee battle going on, but... Uh, oh yeah, they would have heard the Thunder Spoon, that's true. Did we have it in the last round the game as well, Session, that they do look off like Celeste? That's not... that's just a coincidance. Oh. Uh, no, that was just... A, those were just standing tokens, they look nothing like yeah, Celeste. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this so this cool. is just the commoner token. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't have <laughs> individual art for every for yeah. character. Uh, okay. So, I mean, um, Celeste has her own token. Do we know... I take it we notice her coming up the stairs him, and but yeah 
He's a oh, cat man. It's not, I'm just just looking at the. I know it's confusing. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I take it we'd notice him coming up and being like, Rah! I mean, yeah, that's not obvious. Also, that. Who's that bit? Just so you know, that's that's Celeste. That's Celeste. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, okay. I know it's not a million miles away, but it is. No glowy eyes. I mean, <laughs> we can't even see Celeste's face. So. Right. Just checking, so Celeste, Celeste hasn't appeared. No, that was just because uh, Reach was asking about the tokens, because I used the same token to represent commoners, but I also used that token downstairs last time to represent Aramis. Right. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so if we've noticed that uh, Crumbar, as myself, shall walk over this way. Oh god. Uh, what's the, what was the captain's name again? I never got that. Cannot. To the NPC list. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, cue, back, cue back my music. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm not. I'm not opened up this stuff again since my computer restarted. How is Dimitri? Dimitri, did we yeah. wait? Did we ask that actually? You were the one that negotiated the deal with Arena. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm guessing I would have known it then. Um, uh, I, uh, you know, concerningly put my hand on his shoulder and explain who, like, you know, it's been. Bandits that have uh, pirates have uh, shimmered in on the ship, um, and uh, they they killed off your uh, first mate. But it was it was a quick death, and, and they didn't suffer. Um, he just picks up Irina, and he, uh, that's it. Thanks, Irina. He uh, walks downstairs, and that's. To me, that's downstairs, and then yeah, he just lifts her body and takes her downstairs. He didn't even acknowledge me. No. What a penis. Doing grief. Lost. Just it's, sobbing. Yeah. Just lost a friend, possibly classed as a family member. Give him time. Gee. Nope. Get it on the Barbie. That's what I say. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Because if you do, I'll be changing your alignment. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of, like a tentative Aramos starts what are you to doing? climb up the stairs. It's all clear. Yeah, you can come up now. And he kind of like just does that thing where he puts like his hand on like, you know, like your hip type thing as if it's steadying himself off the bottom of the stairs and just kind of like pushes past and looks around. What happened? Aramos, just out of curiosity, you didn't happen to be... As you scream from up the back. <laughs> are you moving closer or are you... Uh... Far away. Yes, yes, I'd be getting much closer. Whispering from behind the mask. Birdie's just flying about. Ah. Actually, yeah, most of it all just... Yeah, so I'll I'll be asking... Hi, Emma, it's just out of curiosity. You didn't happen to be sleeping, you know, dreaming just now, were you? I was until this one made a loud noise. And he just kind of points at Crumber. <laughs> <laughs> you never want him. Did you dream about anything? Was there a loud noise of him jumping back here? And then he's just like... No, earlier. The big boom. You fart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Erebus and go, Sorry, that was me. I was defending myself. Oh, yeah. That's how we started. I remember yep. that. Like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's just, Erebus doesn't know what he can do, so obviously he's going to blame <laughs> the loudest one so far. Big one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, I think Arnold maybe goes over and just checks the, the boat out overall and just does a a once over. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's a uh, healing flask. Uh, be nice to keep these even. So, yeah, thanks for that. And Not to a you. problem. You're most welcome. Uh, well, where are you dreaming of, Eremos? What exactly? Was it a fun dream? Or? I don't remember. I was interrupted, and he just draws daggers towards, say, uh, Crumbar. 
<laughs> I feel like I should own up to this, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like I think it's just that like you've already said to Ermos that it was you, but Ermos doesn't really believe you. He's just still like it's probably Crumbar. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know that I'm, I've got magic, does he? <laughs> oh, this first time we players actually see my magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, you shot a lot of lightning. Yep. I mean, obviously there was lots of um, thunder and lightning that Eremos would have heard downstairs that he's not commenting on. <laughs> so yeah. He's too busy looking at Kumba and blaming him for the rude... Mm -hmm. The, um... Yeah. Okay, I need you to roll perception. With advantage. Oh god. What is happening? Cool. Don't worry. I'll, I'll fill you in. Everybody carry uh, on. <laughs> it was more like the noise of the headset. Yeah, it's Someone it. Can I, have, uh, can I like, enter out? Because obviously... There's, I mean, nobody's talking. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, it's like... Um, so obviously Armos is kind of blaming me for... Oh, so, currently what's happening is um, somebody asked him, what did you dream of? He's like, well, I, I didn't dream of anything. It was woke mm. up and he just stares at you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, during the fight, he was awake, wasn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was. Um, I don't think it was him, to be so, honest. So I've just kind of, I've crouched down the eye level at Aramos and, and I'm just like, it was not me that was making such noises. Oh, you're making them now. And he puts his hands in his hips. <laughs> you, fair, you weren't overly quiet earlier on, but yeah, maybe not the loud bang, but... Mm. Well, <laughs> well, when battles happen, noises get made. And we're happy for that. <laughs> yeah. And right. then I just kind of angrily stand back up. I think I'm going to show my agents here. Anybody able to drive this boat? Because <laughs> we're now floating aimlessly at the moment. Well, really fairly aimlessly. Like the boat's still going at a fair pace. It's just obviously nobody's actually steering it. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, yeah. I mean, I could go attempt to steer it if you go while the captain is grieving. I'm going to want to have a rest here. So we're we going to take turns steering it. I'll take the first shift then. Can I also ask? If I were to use my medicine skill, well, ability, mm -hmm. skill, skill, it was it a skill, um, to like patch myself up, would that give me any like points back, or is that just like, no? It doesn't recover any hit like points. Dying? Um, it can in combat. Let's say Reach was still in that bad situation, you could have rolled medicine to try and stabilize him. Sure. And that removes his need yeah. to roll death saves. It would stop me from dying, sure. dying. It wouldn't have got me up in fighting again, or almost. Yeah, fighting. it gives you no healing. Okay. If you get like a medicine so kit and everything, right you can sleep. get. Okay. Yeah, you want to rest. Yeah, basically, you can take a short rest. You can take a long rest. Yeah, there's various rests that you can do. So, Crumbar is kind of just stood back up, and he's kind of scanning. I've stood back up. I'm scanning around. I'm sorry. Yep, sorry. yep. It's okay. I, I'll I, keep I, doing I, it. I've, I've, <laughs> let's go. I've, I've stood back up and scanned around. Um, and I've noticed out of all the party uh, area is very much had the fit kicked out of her. So I've just walked around there and. <laughs> Nothing on reach, eh? What side? Oh, so Sophie's top that. Um, just walked around there and kind of caught eye contact with Aria and asked her, um, Aria, can you pass me your hand? Give me your hands. Okay. Um, so is she... Because obviously at this point I've not seen him do this, so I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> yeah. but okay, I extend my hands in his direction, kind of like, what on earth is this guy gonna... So I've taken both our hands uh, in my right hand, and with my left hand, I've touched my holy symbol, and uh, I've whispered uh, what sounds, what you've made out to sound like a prayer, and I have casted my lay on hands 
just to give her a uh, five health back. Awesome, thanks. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's ten health, isn't it? It's it's uh, no, he can, he can give what he wants. I can give what I want, so yeah. Um, he can give up to ten, essentially. I can give up to ten. Um, so as I've done this, um, Aria just kind of... Her skin just kind of glows, like you know that way when somebody's just back from holiday and it's kind of like, oh, you're glowing. Oh my. Um, <laughs> yep, yeah, and um, I just say I hope you know I hope that feels better and oh, thank you uh, just say I just turn to the party and go I'm going back to my jug and storm off back down here and all you can hear all you can hear from underneath the boat is glug Look. <laughs> why are we not surprised uh, can you move me under the boat please maybe but maybe. I think we should all go and get some rest. Okay, please. While uh, Grumba was healing Arya, I like a badge past Kitty before she moved and goes straight up to the uh, steer, uh, to the um, the wheel to start to gain control of the boat so it didn't like go on. Rude. You should, have, you should have helped me. Did not ask for it. Well, I won't bother helping you in the future. Yeah. You're gonna need it. Yeah, yeah so remember, she yeah, was always <laughs> I mean, I killed more than she did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but who had the better health overall? Me? I've got six. How much do you have? Well, I've got four now, but that's only because he threw two daggers at me. You took one and was like, meh. I've got two crossbow bolts and took a dagger. <laughs> yeah. Like this is all in character as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. It definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no, it this is. is actually just us IRL. <laughs> uh, okay, let me work out what XP I really got there because there is a wee bit more XP to get there. Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought we always uh, XP happened at the end. Oh. Well, no, we don't. Uh, another Forty. Forty. Yeah. Let's just be nice and say it's fifty because I'm really generous that way. Yay! And it's a better number. Yeah, it's better than having 790. Yeah. It's a better number, by the way. Seven, uh, should it not be 800 that we have now, then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, the idea of it being on 790 bugs me, so. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. I, th I, thought, I thought he was meaning he already had 790. I'm like, no, where did no, you no. get an extra 40? <laughs> <laughs> For being badass. Presumably like, what, when did up. I miss that? <laughs> The music on something like 13 or something like that as well, volume. Oh, <laughs> <TV>. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I can't have that though. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. just <laughs> weirdly like 15's a fine number to have it on though. But yeah, it is, I know it's an odd number, but it's weird. Yeah. It's, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's oh. multiple of five, it's satisfying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> weirdly though. Uh, but yeah, so what's everybody's plan? Um, between Arnold and uh, Eric, Eric, give me some kind of um, athletics check, I guess. And then survival check. Give me both. Oh god, this could be so wrong. I'm half thinking we could get Edamos to drive this boat. Oh, that's a good thing. It might actually be better. That's fine. <laughs> It'll just be the five. And survival. Yep. I cannot steer this boat. No. So I think mostly what happens is Arnold just moves you to the side. <laughs> and, I'm and, too injured. And he, he attempts. Although I'm going to make rolls because I want to see how good and bad this actually is. Uh, where is he? Let's see, so... Let's do... So survival is wisdom. What did you roll first? What order? So you rolled athletics is strength. And then survival is wisdom. That's yeah. way better than that. Yeah, significantly. Enough to be like, no, well, in theory we should be doing this. Also keep in mind, the reason why Arnold hasn't been performing well is because he was beat up quite badly. Yeah, like, like, we're, like both, we're both bleeding. Yeah, like the hits he took were pretty significant. But it's fine, it's all fine now. Right, so what's everybody else doing? So I know Crumbar went downstairs. 
There's a time for a nap as well, I think. So are the rest of you heading downstairs? I mean, technically, Eric, I mean, you could just go downstairs now if you wanted, realistically. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll, 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 I'll wave at Arnold and say, do we need to rotate the wash for our Maybe they'll get to healed up as well. Let me just put these all uh, in. After we're healed up, we can take it into. Yeah. Barb. Oh. Bed. <laughs> Wait, off my bed. Get on my bed. Yep, these are both. So, I. Uh, so, views just have came down. Crumbar's current situation is he's just. Sitting, he's just made use use that hammock, that hammock, mm -hmm. uh, that jug to make up four gallons of beer, and he's just sitting, kind of glugging away at that, um, just kind of quietly, in a very reminiscing manner. So. What are you just doing downstairs? What's the plan? What's the chat? Crumbar's in a hammock, holding onto his golden uh, jug. I'm just gonna lay in my hammer, hold on to my, uh, hold on to my wounds. Probably pull the the bolts out. out. Crumbar's chat. <laughs> Look, yeah. I don't think. Well, I've got no idea what that was about. Obviously, somebody knows that we're up to something here. But nothing we can do now but rest and get ready for the next one. Or hopefully land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So off I go. When you sleep, yeah, grab one of those hammocks. Yep, they're stacked three high anyway, believe it or not. Alright. Yeah. I try I try wrap myself up in a cloak to try hide the uh, the blue cracks coming from a script. <laughs> yeah, trying to hide your shame, yeah. <laughs> Fine, yep. Um, so is anyone going to be uh, helping Arnold out at any point during this long rest? Yeah, I was about to say, I think we should, but, well, you can rotate in a long rest, can you not? So it just you means you take longer, right? So you need eight hours of sleep, right? But, for example, yeah. somebody could stay awake for four hours, let someone sleep for five, eight, four. and then trade out. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So long as you're willing yeah. to wait another eight. I mean, as as I think as. We can afford the time. Yeah. Oh, so what's ever they been eating for those last day? Uh, what is it? Five days, I think we've been so far. I believe yeah, every should. Rations. There are no yeah, ship rations. rations. Yeah. yeah. I've got rations. I've got eight. Yeah, rations. So every day, every day, mark down five, since that's how far we've got so far. Yeah. Three. You need to start drinking stout, by the way. You wouldn't need to eat as much. That's <laughs> a type of that's a type of beer. In fact, yeah. wasn't Crumbar asleep for two days? <laughs> I went out ahead when I was asleep. No, but you woke up hungry and ate two rations. So, are we? Um, who's the healthiest like member? Crumbar. To be fair, I'm probably one of the better ones. If it's, uh, I'm not so good at strength, but um, dexterity is good. I meant as in health, strength and what wisdom. Yeah, strength and wisdom. Yeah. I was quite, I'm quite wise, but I still messed up. I mean, surely, he surely your health would be, uh, de uh, be constitution. Uh, I'm talking about driving the boat. Yeah, so I'm like, just keep it. I was, I was more thinking who's like got the most HP, who can like chill around first and then. Yeah, who's taking first to, watch, I think's what he means. Yeah. Oh, Crum Crumbar take first watch and go. You're, you're drinking. I can do both. No drunk driving. Crumbar does nineteen percent of his stuff drunk. So, 19. what are you saying in character? What, how is this conversation going? As you all rush for bunks, and everybody sits and goes, "Oh, maybe somebody should go look after Arnold, who's pretty uh, beat up." <laughs> you know that kind of way when you need to kind of get up and do something. You're like, right. So, Crumbar, uh, I've just kind of looked around the party and. Um, uh, Said, I'll go uh, keep keep watch with uh, my brother upstairs, and as I I put my jug underneath my hammock, um, walk away, and just as I go to go up the stairs, just turn back and say, nobody touched my jug. 
and then go away, which somehow I can't make myself go upstairs. It's okay, I'll move you. Yeah. Well, at least well, the co-pilot ain't drinking anymore, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I have now joined Arnold. Um, right, okay, you so you said upstairs, uh, and you're going to take first watch. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. MDOS staying up, or is everybody KOing? Everybody else queue, I think, but we'll take uh, turns about. Kitty, you take an hour to learn what I sent you, just so you know. Still with me there, Sophie? Oh, no, nah, she's muted. Oh, okay. We'll see what happens when she comes back. She might be eating or something. Potentially. Possibly. But yeah, so Kitty stays up. Oh! I was like, I was thinking ever good to uh, stay up and like try to figure out what these scars are on his, uh, well over his body well it's probably not the first time you've seen them right it's probably not the first time um i mean like in get in glitter hate i would guarantee i have not used that level of magic before well, when you were I, a kid though you didn't have I, as much right yeah i don't think i'd like i would have used um had such prominent like like cut scars, I'd say. Just like more, it's more. He's more worried at the fact that they're glowing more than they had before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like, what do you, what do, you, what is your mood? Are you like afraid of this? Are you like excited by it? Like, what, what's the mood like? I'm very concerned right mm -hmm. now. Like, it's they're like they're not as they're not really they're not really prominent. Like they're proper shine and blue, but before there was only like I don't know like a crayon. Light blue. Now they're a bit brighter than that. Are you trying to hide this from everybody else? Yes. Right, okay. Is MD else particularly worried about the fact that the random guy that joined you now glows blue? Like he's got loads of blue cracks all over him? Because if so, I wouldn't mind you wanting to roll insight if he's wanted, but that's only if, if you're actually <laughs> paying attention to him. No, I didn't know that was. It that would, was happening, sorry. It wouldn't really have affected you. You've walked back upstairs anyway. You had other priorities. You went downstairs, drank. You know, oh, wait, it's all right, it's okay, sorry. About as worried as I'm with a pussy cat and a half elf following us about. You're a half elf? Yes, no, it's <laughs> a half orc. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, Not what are you worried. trying to say? Yeah, a bit of a yeah. mismatch. What about Arya? I would be curious, but not like, you know. Well, did, my my question really is: Would you want know. to work out? Do you want to roll insight to see if you notice how? Yeah, I'd probably be curious enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll insight for me, and then we'll have Eric roll. Right, so you're trying to hide this, so it's probably performance, right, or deception? Probably performance, really, because it's more physical. Yeah, okay, because deception is more like a, uh, a talking. Is it perception that I'm rolling? No insight. I don't see insight. Uh, where is it like then? Oofed. Well, it's a tough one to beat. Insight is in, your, is in your skill list. What would you describe performance as being? Any kind of performance. Performing. So a dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a song. What are you dancing? Yeah, I'm a, I, I, I see nothing. Basically, he's trying to I act casual, <laughs> right? Uh, 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 About the fact that he's got all these blue cracks all over him. Acting. So, but like, yeah. but like, fully over my face. Just like, covered myself up. Like, it would be deception if he was actively trying to say they were something else, right? Yeah. yeah but like, he just yeah. kind of wants to hide it, so, yeah. Right, and it's more to the body language, hence performance. But it's okay, no. Like, you just think he's, like, Arya, for you, you've seen other druids in the past, like, people can throw lightning around. This I mean, who am I to judge? I have blue hair. Yeah. Exactly, right? You've got blue hair, he's got blue eyes and blue bl cracks all over his skin that weren't there before. He can throw lightning at people and sometimes miss. Um, you, Spectacularly. And like, you've seen, I mean, you're you're a child of nature. I can throw birds at people. Yeah, so this isn't a big deal for you. Um, not that fast. Um, yeah, Aramos says he's going to go keep, uh, he's going to go watch on Crumbar in case he gets up to anything dangerous. Makes more loud noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a blue. <laughs> nope. So, <laughs> and neither is Arya. Um, but yeah, so. What about the rest of you? Are you 
turning in for the night, or? Yeah, I'm happy to. I'm eager to. Cool. I'm hurting. Aria, what's your plans? Sleeping or staying up or what? Sleep. Okay. <laughs> Sleep. Uh, Kitty, are you back with us yet? Or are you st still on mute patrol? Still mute patrol. Yeah, um, we definitely have. We definitely does does she know she's muted? <laughs> don't know. Well, we'll find out when she returns. Um, so well, yeah. Well, while they're asleep, um, this will be good. I've uh, was talking with uh, Arnold first of all before Elmos came up, and I've. Uh, asked him um, how he feels about the that guy on the ship being a demon. Did he know that? Well, he was speaking Infernal, so... I, mean, I know, but Eremos is in there. No, he's not talking to Eremos, though. So. Well, I was meaning to have that conversation with you, so I forgot about so, that. So, Eremos isn't what saying that. that guy talking? Like, um... To be fair, you you had a near death experience. It's understandable you wouldn't think straight away to say that. The uh, this is a uh, Crumbar speaking to Arnold. Just so you know, there, calm. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's that's before that's... it's before Aramos catches up. He's got time for like this one kind of exchange. I think before Aramos bolts up the yeah, stairs. Yeah. Um, and Arnold just looks at you and goes, "Dark days, brother. Dark days." And kind of like shakes his head dismissively, and like he's got that look, and he says. In fact, it's maybe best I suit up. Uh, and then they kind of motions for you to take the wheel. Okay. Because obviously he's not in his uh, armour, so. Neither am I. <laughs> um, I. I thought in that case, then he's like, maybe it's best we suit up. I uh, go put your armour on, and then we'll, you know. So he's hinting at you to go downstairs to get your armour. Okay. Um. So as I've went down, has Eremos came up? Well, I think you'd go down this way, right? Because that's uh, the closest uh, yeah. stairs down, right? Uh, 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 he I just walks up this way, and then he wanders up to the. So yeah. Ah right, okay. So I so I wouldn't see him. Yeah, but you can wander down, pick up your armor, and come back up. Okay, mean, so like, yeah, ten, minu ten, ten minutes have passed. I've sto started back up, and I will. Uh, is that where Eremos is standing? Yeah. Yeah, like Eremos is sitting yeah. on the chest that's behind. Um, ah, right, okay. there, and it, he's just asking Arnold a million questions, um, just like a million, million oh, questions. Okay, so what's the, what's the question I walk in overhearing? Uh, the question is, um, how did you get this scar? And he's pointing at his back, and Arnold's just got that look in his face where he's kind of half leaning on the wheel, being like, "Oh, children." Um, and then, like as soon as he sees you climb up the st like the, the steps, he's just like, "I'll be back in ten and then he just basically beelines mm. and goes and gets his armor. Yeah, d just that kind of nod to each other. Mm -hmm. um, I've I've kind of casually taken the wheel and just um, try, you know, cause just 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 because you know how it's it takes its own course. I'm imagining sailing isn't very difficult it's more just think of it this way right see if you're in like a a swimming pool that has currents in it or water mm. i should say that's got currents in it you still swim you still yeah. need to swim but yeah i i but, but i don't need to it's that kind of just keeping it on course i mean at some point you'll need that captain to wake up and fix the ship yes is what i'm mm. saying so no you can't just you, you can think like crumbar can believe the boat will just work but you have nothing to base that on Mm, yep, no worries. Um, no problem at all. Um, so, while leaning over the wheel, I uh, turn your, I turn my head to Eremos and ask him, boy, I need to know, what have you been thinking about recently? And he sits and he just starts listing like a whole bunch of random shit like he's been thinking about why cartwheels are round like why why wouldn't they be anything else why aren't they like you know eight sided shapes for example um uh why why is the sky blue why is the water also blue is the water really blue when you pick up the water it's not blue anymore why is that <laughs> like he's just he just vomit questions you 
and then there's no link to any of them either. Like it's just yeah. a barrage. Yeah. Also, if I pause you just now, Kitty, yep, now that you're sorry. back, um, you'll take an hour to learn what I told you. Okay. <laughs> just so it okay. makes sense. Like you have to like you sit and study the item, and okay. then that will become apparent to you before you take a long rest. So you'll be up for an hour. Okay. Should, should that? Are we? Am I aware of what this no. thing is? No. Okay. Fine. That's. Um. Okay. Um. I've just kind of done that whole sigh as I've remembered who it is that I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. And but like as you go ah, and he kind of like sees that you've kind of lost interest. He's like, "What are you thinking about?" And he's like, his feet are kind of like kicking off the chest in front of him as well as like his heels hit it. Uh, I again I'm just kind of looking at him and you know that way I'm like I'm being serious but I know that he doesn't understand it kind of way and it's just I'm thinking about whatever demon has just attacked us in that from that boat yeah, he jumps up from the like the chest as well and he's like there was a demon on a boat like really quite like this is intriguing. This is new. Mm, um, in Inferno, okay. I say to him, yes, they shimmered in and then attacked us all and they sounded like this. He like furrows his brow and looks up at you and goes, why are you speaking funny? So he doesn't understand me? Roll insight. Um, whereabouts is insight? In your oh, skills. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't seem like understands a single thing you've said. No. You just screwed up your face because you're you're making weird fire crackly noises. Mm. Uh, back to speaking in common. Um, I. Sorry, back to speaking in common. Of, I say that's how they were speak. That's how the men who attacked us were speaking. How come you Have can you speak ever it? Heard? That's. Are you a demon? I. No, but I've had visions of demons for a while, and. When the visions stop, I could speak their language. I dreamt I could speak many languages once. And he kind of just. I dreamt I could speak many languages once, is what he says. And he kind of just like slowly like sits back down on the kind of chest absent mindedly and then just slowly starts kicking his heels against it again. What languages could you speak? And he kind of just like rolls his eyes. He's like, all of them, obviously. That that would be coming coming useful. How many can you st still speak? And he he gets he looks really confused, like but like a deep thought. And he's like, um, how many are there? And yeah, that's what he replies to you. Can I roll insight to see if I would know how many? Uh, no, it wouldn't be insight. Also, like, Crumbar just wouldn't know how many languages there are. Because, I mean, right now, can you name how many languages we have on this planet? No. Give me one we Without say. Googling? <laughs> you know. I'm going to Google now. Um, <laughs> ach, you, know, you know what? Uh, Crumbar just tar you know, Crumbar kind of trying to lighten the mood a wee bit. Like you can make a, a you could make a reasonable just intelligence check if you want. No, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for a joke. I I kind of isn't it like two hundred and fifty you know, odds? Six thousand five hundred. They're gods. We're all wrong. Mm. Yes, right. exactly. <laughs> yeah, so only two thousand of them less than a thousand speakers. Yeah, mm. that's probably including Scott. But anyway, back in our world. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just kind of giggle a little bit and go, well, there's at least two. <laughs> Scott is a dialect also. Uh, he uh, 
Aramos goes, ha 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 ha, like just mimicking you a little. Um, mm. But like, kind of almost like half-heartedly, because he's still kind of in deep thought about that question you asked him. You can see he's quite distracted. Um, and obviously, at this um, point, time passed, and obviously Arnold walks up, and it's just used to laughing awkwardly, like a Final Fantasy cutscene. Ha 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 ha! That's not a copyright on us. Um, downstairs, though, if we pause, you guys, and we switch to yes. downstairs, and we move the camera. Lovely slow scrolling. Could I? Could I maybe move down just so I can see what happened? No. Because you're upstairs. Yeah, you just see your pictures in your mind. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Kitty, you've got um, this new thing. You've jumped into a hammock. Uh, you just start pawing over it, I guess, as two on the nose, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just sort of looking it over this way and that. Mm -hmm. sort of just, yeah. It's, kind of it's very warm. It's kind of nifty. Yeah. Uh, everybody down here, are you going to take a long rest then and get your, your time in or do you just want to do anything narratively before we we fast forward you guys? Uh, Eric, oh, uh, did anyone understand what he was saying up there? Nope. <laughs> Literally nobody <Eric>. downstairs. <laughs> Eric just yeah, I think it's safe to say that all of us at some point will have wanted to be told that, so... To be fair, Crumbar making weird noises back at someone from the other side of a ship is, isn't the weirdest. Like, <laughs> this guy crackling, this, you know. Yeah. Talking, so. <laughs> you didn't talk calm, right? Okay, cool. Okay. That okay, is sleep. Cool. So, reach going to sleep, are you? Sleep or chat? Chat or sleep or do other something? So I'm mute just now. Uh, Eric, sleep? Yeah, sleep. Try and stay covered up as possible. Kitty, anything else you want to do? I said you no, just I just as I'm looking over my my new little item, I'm just gonna snooze like like just drop yep. off. Okay, okay. And mm -hmm. Arya, still anything or sleeps? She's still muted at patrol. Mm. Well, let's just assume she sleeps, and we can retroactively do She's that. She's already asleep. <laughs> Cool. Um, who's taking next watch out of you guys? Cause I need I'm happy to take it. Yeah, who wants to go with um, a reach? I'll go with them. Cool. So, do you just want to do your full restiness? Reset okay. your stuff. Um, Kitty, you can as well. Uh, hey, that key energy flown back into me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scars have healed at last. Yes, I was saying I was sleeping. I don't know why I was muted. Sorry. Cool. And then they can go downstairs and sleeps. Uh, yeah, oh. so you can total rest as well. Did you? Uh, it was just full rest for can, you as well. Uh, can I come down and be angry at the fact that Kitty's in my bunk bed? No. Because there's three of them. She's probably the top one. You're probably in the bottom one. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, they're all stacked. Um... Yep, Arnold gets to sleep, he's very happy by this. Um, your armour's come back off. Um, no, he's are taking them back off. And then, uh, uh, just for sleeping. Now, Arya, remember when you do your preparing spells, you can obviously change them out, etc. Remember this I can fact? change them every morning. Yep. 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 So, if you're going to do that, do that just now for me. Cool, cool, on it. Also, how much do you go to full? When you yeah. have a full night's sleep, or yep. how does that work? Okay, cool. Yep, you do. Um, Ryan, can I just say, ask as well? See my lay on hands. How is it I get points in that back? Read it. Just so, um, I'm reading it and I can't see where. On a long rest, I think. But oh, yeah, yeah, right at the top. I was looking at uh, When you take a long rest. I'm assuming I'm taking a long rest. This there. is a long rest, yep. Right, cool. I'll just put everyone back to normals. Uh, also, Ari, there's a spell you've got, which is probably no longer relevant. Um, you may as well. I don't know if you can trade it out. I don't know if it was granted to you for free as a druid, but if it isn't, I would get rid of it, which is the speaking with animals one. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that was granted to you for free. I don't know how you got that specific one. I don't know if you chose it specifically. 
um, but obviously th spells that are granted to you you can't get rid of um, but ones you've chosen you can trade out so if that was one of them I would trade it out because you can you kind of do that already now so oh, cool. which is awesome this is a, a friendly tip uh, but let's go and see what happens on the watch of the yeah, other two because this is worrying because if he's been so precise about this something is going to happen <laughs> I don't know why you are both full health though oh we're happy I'm I did see that but I was worried yeah, we're kidding on. That was just to wind you up, Rich, because you're being so weird about the. <laughs> <laughs> right, so who's taking the wheel? It looks like Eric's taking it. Yeah, and I'm not happy with that, to be honest. <laughs> I'll, I'll just shoulder him out a wee bit of it and I'll take it, right? Because I'm, yeah, I'm a bit more capable. We'll soon see. Uh, what, roll to see if you are. Yeah, so yeah. give me an athletics and then give me a. a survival. Athletics is struggling, but. Oh, he's way more. Yeah, no, like, you, so you did it fairly competently. It's riding, it's riding the waves. Like, yep. <laughs> like essentially, the first thing is controlling the boat is the athletics check, making it right. do what you want, and then knowing where to go is the survival check, right? Okay. right. So the navigation side of it. Right. So, Reach, I mean, it seems like you've maybe been on a boat before. Not even seen a picture of one. <laughs> <laughs> Just obviously natural for you then, eh? Yes. Googled a lot when you were in the Celestial Nexus for yes. eight years. That uh. yeah, was eight years of work. That was in every Wikipedia page. Uh, the Celestial Wikipedia. Um, <laughs> Turns out that Starfield's just a screensaver. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, what do you talk about? What happens? Obviously, Ermos is just kind of like leaning over the back of the boat, staring at the back at the kind of the trails of the boat. Uh, I kind of look at Reach and go, so, what on earth happened? You cut out. Yeah, you cut out. What happened? Yeah. What? What on earth happened there? Uh, earlier, last night. Is it morning yet? <laughs> User, like, user coming into the morning, you see, like, the dawn, as it were. Oh, yeah, okay. So, what happened last night? Reach. That uh, is a good question. Reach rule perception um, as well for me. Perception. A boat falls out of the sky and hits your boat. Do you notice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so Reach, you notice that all of his blue scars are gone. Okay. Did he notice them in the first place? Yes. Uh, but not enough to feel like it was odd, if that makes sense. You being shifty about it is what people rolled insight on. Yeah. But he can see you don't glow blue currently, and that's noticeable in a person. <laughs> Yes, you're feeling a bit better now. I mean, after getting two crossbow bolts and a knife thrown at you, yeah, feeling better after a little rest. Yeah, it was a tough fight, I've got to admit. That's, uh, I found it tough as well, but yeah. Did, did, have you managed to speak with Cromber or uh, any idea what was being said with the captain of the other boat? Uh, no, he just kind of ran past us and went to bed. I assume he's drinking while he's asleep. Yeah, rushed to get back to his ball. <laughs> New particle, separate him. Oh. <laughs> 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 his pipes, was it, for the <laughs> <laughs> Also, that's another thing I was thinking as well. Given how often Combar would, would go for the uh, pipes, I feel like Crumbar, do you want to give me like five perception checks, please? Uh, okay. Um, this is at least once or twice. At least you should have yeah noticed. Yeah, yeah I've, I, I was gonna try. And it was something I was thinking about earlier today when I was doing prep for the game, and I just want just give me like a couple of pers like five is enough because I want to know when you notice. Yeah. Um, one. Day one, no. Uh, Day two, no. Ask you still drunk, by the way. Yeah, right. that's the two days I slept. Three. That's the hangover. Hangover. <laughs> <laughs> hangover. Okay, stop. You can stop there. That's fine. Because you you notice on 
one of your hangover parts and you're like, I really in the mood to make a tune. So on day four, this is probably the day that um I feel like this is when we had the really good success with the bird as well. Um Yeah. I can't actually remember exactly when I'm scrolling back up the chat to find uh, I think it is actually. Yeah. It, it probably does sync up really well. Um I think you open up the full chat log, I don't intend to do that. But yeah, so at some point you approach Kitty. Kitty, how much resistance to a crumbar do you do, do you give for getting the pipes back on the fourth day before all the fighting start started? Because basically, what your name is pan flute. Yeah, because I think maybe the like the first couple of days you, you see him like looking through his stuff and then looking around the ship and scratching his head and stuff, but he doesn't obviously yeah, I, have the patience to like. Can I just say it? as well that crumbar would be very distraught over this. Yeah, and then obviously, I would like, the last, it like fucking the last. After the first day of him not having it and looking around and being really panicky and then turning to drinking to kind of get over it a little bit, I sneak it back into his bag. Yeah, roll a uh, stealth. Or sleight of hand. I don't really care which one. Both are fa valid. Yeah, so uh, while you're looking around, Grumbar, you definitely you spot her, like, put it back in. Or at least you see her like lying face up in the hammock and then you look away and you're still searching for this thing and then all of a sudden she's lying face down and you find your pan pipes in your bag. So, <laughs> you know, it's something fairly obvious, but it's up to you whether you point it out or not or if you just let it lie. Because she obviously noticed that you were a bit upset, put them back. <laughs> but that definitely happened on the journey right. as well. Um, I just wanted that, like, because you know, I feel like five days of not having them is a bit weird to not have yeah, done something yeah. about it. Um, but that's fine. When, so, he, when he noticed Crumbar uh, towered over Kitty, glaring in her eyes, saying, You shall never touch these again, <laughs> or we will have a problem. And then on that, like, you can almost see tears, like a tear swell up in his eyes, and he just turns around and storms off, like clutching this pan flute. Like, as it's like, as you know, just utterly, you know, nothing is getting this. Yeah, like Crumbar storms off top of the deck. He sees Arya speaking mm. dolphin a bit and then, like, <laughs> playing with a bird and having the best time of her life, quite frankly. Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, right, cool, that definitely happened. All that stuff. Good, good. I like it. I just wanted to make sure that was uh, checkpointed. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, good. Do you guys on, on watch have anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. I was going to ask uh, Reach. Uh, I don't know much about you guys. Do you uh, want to uh, give me a bit of who you are? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was in uh, Golden Order set, uh, Mon monastery. What's it called? Monastery for eight years or so. So, uh, oh, no, no, for like most of your life, right? Uh, right. I was thinking, but what was that room I was in for eight years? The, the Celestial was, Nexus. Right, right. I was in a, a special part of the Golden Order <laughs> for about eight years, and if. And the lady introduced us all together to go hunt. Yeah. You fill in if you want. Carry on. You were thinking something there, DM. Me no. No, all right, okay. Uh, Did I make a noise like I was? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. just just breathing. You know. Right. Okay. Try not make a habit of it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> This is why you die every combat, you know that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not personal. So, yeah. so we're sent on a mission to find uh, find this boy here, Eremus. That'd be the best way to word at the moment. Uh, I think as you say that, like he stops looking over the back and like turns round kind of excitedly. Uh, and he actually doesn't know much about it. Right, Eremos, do you remember Celeste? Yes. And he like pull, pulls out, like goes into like his kind of tunic and pulls out his quill and holds it up like a sword. Yeah, she was eager for us to meet, so that's why we came actually out looking for you. That was 
And that's why I'm here. And he like kind of like hits his like fist, holding the you know quill off his kind of like where his heart would be. Like thumps it. That sounds painful. <laughs> Bit, but it's just almost like a kind of, you know, salute type thing. Like, that's me! <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, I thought you meant like he was stabbing himself in the chest. No, no, he's, he's got it clutched in his fist. His hair cool. Just want the wind to blow away. After that, pretty much you pretty much turned up after that, because then we came back to that city and we, we met you. That's... Yeah. Seems like a, an interesting thing. What is this room? What is it about that you spent many years? Golden Order stuff, but it's nothing really special. And it was very quiet eight years. <laughs> uh, Just so as you know, uh, as a player, obviously Reach can believe what he wants, but as a player, uh, Celeste mentioned nothing about the Celestial Nexus being anything to do with the Golden Order. Just that she wanted you to watch it. Oh, right, okay. right. But that's just uh, yeah, right. whether or not Reach thinks it's yeah. to do it, because that makes sense, right? Some woman turns up at the monastery and says, I've got a mission for you, come do it. Yeah. Watch this yeah. place for eight years, okay, thanks, bye. Um, then eight years later, the, the others appear. So, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did she hint at anything about the room being secret or anything like that? That's what I was. I don't even think she mentioned the room at all, really. She didn't, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all I, really, I don't know much about the room. I just know it was a doorway to other places. Like, you know every inch of it probably by now, but like you don't yeah. necessarily know beyond that. It's just like almost kind of like kind of perfect white marble almost. Yeah, yeah. And then like the big frames. That are like the wall, this kind of circular walls made up of like eight big doorways. And as you approach them, they become starfields. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Interesting room. Definitely interesting, but beyond my knowledge. That's knowledge can be quite powerful. Understanding. Eremos kind of like tugs at your kind of tunic. Hello, Eremos. What's up? Hello, Reach. And then he kind of nods. And then, uh, but like you can see, like he's holding his fists down really tight at his sides when he kind of nods. And then uh, he relaxes again and goes, "Could you draw it?" Mm. Pretty good dexterity. Uh, what uh, is he asking to draw? The, the, room. the room. The room. Oh, places. right, right, right. Yeah, I think I could. He's like, okay, I'll um, and he kind of just like nods, kind of quietly. He's like, we won't draw up here though, cause it's windy. Yeah, maybe late. Get that later. Yes. And he kind of nods and starts looking back out over the water again. Yeah. And it's not good to d drive and draw. Correct. <laughs> <Probably>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so anything else for you guys to chat about? Uh, no, I've uh, learned stuff from Reach and about how it is journey and stuff. I'm quite sad. Mm -hmm. Well, Reach, you, anything you want to know about him? You just pretty much got fallen as well, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you don't know much about me. Pretty much all I know about you, yeah, some creepy guy following us and he ended up tagging along. Right, okay, right. Uh, and he shot at the right people, so... Yeah, which was, yeah, we were very yeah, happy about, but... <laughs> Got to ask, yeah, why were you following us? Were you expecting us, or what? I'd seen in a vision that uh, I would find you at the gate that you entered. I was near that gate for five days, waiting. Must been deja vu. Dave Javu. I mean, thinking about it. like you just hear him as he's looking out over the water, and he just says, "It must have been really, it must have been a letdown when you saw Crumbar." <laughs> Hi. 
yeah. I look at I look over at Erebus uh, and go, yeah. <laughs> Do you have visions often? Um, I I don't really know. I this one seemed to be this dream seemed to be fairly real, so I went I went out in pursuit of it. Every other dream is a bit yeah, weird. Yeah, so v- v- very vivid, very intense, very much like you were like transported somewhere, had a conversation, and were put back vibe. Like it didn't feel like you fell asleep and had a dream. And if it w- did feel like that, yeah. it's the most vivid dream you've ever had. Yeah. Uh, any old ladies there or dragons? There was a, a hooded woman that I remember. Like she was the one speaking to me. Glowy eyes, cloaked, and who did you yeah, said that? Right? Uh, yeah, I'm not like I can't really remember to her too well. Just that she's cloaked and just spoke to me, saying that I needed to find you guys, and that you guys would <laughs> help me with my uh, with my own goal. What is your goal? To master my powers and to search for my parents. Well, to be honest, I don't know anything about magic, but you never know. We've been wondering, we've been about a bit. You never know, maybe going in the right direction for that. Uh, this hooded woman might be familiar. There's a few hooded women about, I gather, but... Like you've, you've spoke about that before, I think. See when you were heading into the, like the, the meeting with Odyssea? Like, I'm yeah. sure you said, uh, like, when you turned up, it was like, yeah, I had visions of a hooded woman that said, uh, by the way... I have to come for you guys, and you're like, I don't. You ever mentioned anyone? You all said Celeste to each other, um. So yes, yeah, it's probably the first time you're putting two and two together. That's the Celeste they've been talking about. Eric is the hooded woman that you know of. Yeah. And it feels right. <laughs> uh, Clicks. But yeah, I think um, unless there's anything pertinent you guys want to talk about, I, I think happy to jump on now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what we'll do there is we'll do that oh, wonderful we'll do that uh, <laughs> um, imagine just <laughs> 17 crumb bars fall out of the sky um, oh, no. yep and uh, yeah so the the dawn starts to rise uh, sunlight hits everything you just have your nice uh, conversation that breaks into that you see the coast coming up um, the kind of harbour part uh, it's not a very big kind of harbour um, think almost like a kind of fishing port uh, as you just pull into that and it's like a small outpost for the Golden Order that's essentially there uh, we break there uh, for now and we will return soon uh, for part well, did the boat two my first time sailing. exactly, it's alright I mean magical water does help and also the fact that just knowing where to put the boat also helps turns out you just yeah. steer it away from big things that get in your way Solid bits. yeah it's so, <laughs> not bad so see see on the map can so, you just like ping where we where the boats got into round about the e aren't we yeah so, just uh, so move us to the world right. map yeah right yeah right so Almost at the right. there yeah so where that crack is yep so you just went like in Mm. Makes sense. I suppose that cracks are ever, but I now know what you mean. Yeah, you mean the actual one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Also, can you tell me what that place is called? That's the Queenswood up here. Cheers. It's the Queenswood. That's where the elf queen lives, and most elves. Screw the elves. Uh, right. That's the end of part one, and see everybody in part two. <laughs>